Nasarawa State Governor, Engineer Abdullahi Suley, has expressed optimism Nigeria will overcome its economic challenges. The governor, represented by the Deputy Governor of the state, Dr. Emmanuel Akabe, gave the assurance at the opening ceremony of the 23rd Joint Planning Board, a National Council on Development Planning Meeting in Lafia. Dr. Akabe highlighted the need for policies that will spur growth and development, stressing that solutions to these challenges must be prioritized. Now, much is expected of us as technocrats and experts to stimulate intellectual, robust, and productive deliberations that will lead to the evolution of recommendations that will strengthen strategic planning and budget process for sustainable growth and development of our country. I have no doubt that with the enhanced national strategic planning and your collaboration, the states and national economies can be re-engineered on the path of growth and development. Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Budget and Planning, Dr. Vitalis Obi, described the team as timely, noting the federal government's efforts to rejuvenate the economy amid ongoing challenges. The Nigerian government is doing everything possible to address the hardship faced by the citizens in the wake of the ongoing economic reforms. The federal government considered it as a crucial option in order to free up financial resources for other sectors of the economy, incentivize domestic refineries to produce more petroleum products, reduce Nigeria's dependency on imported fuel, increase employment and channel the accrued funds for the development of critical sectors of the nation's economy. The administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR as a responsive government has been rolling out numerous immediate measures to cushion the effects of the ongoing economic reforms. State's Commissioner for Finance, Budget and Planning, Munirat Abdullahi, expressed the state's honor in hosting the meeting commending Governor Sula's leadership in implementing progressive economic policies. Uh, Nasara State is, on, is not an exception. People have seen the frontiers that we're uh, blazing and trailblazing into. His Excellency Engineer Abdullah A. Sule is doing a tremendous job of exposing uh, the country to our potentials and he has um, unlocked a lot of potentials that exist in Nasara State. So we're showcasing most of that. Um, at some points during this, um, these meetings, people would be exposed to some of the um, infrastructural development and they would go out to the fields to see the kind of work that Engineer Ablahi Isule is doing. They would have a chance to interact with a lot of people, people, uh, top government officials, people within the private sector, to understand how this government has impacted um, on the development on the of the state. Meanwhile, Dr. Gloria Ahmed, Director of Special Duties in the Federal Ministry, lauded the, the importance of these meetings, emphasizing their role in shaping effective national policies. Since inception, the JPB and CDP meetings have lived up to expectation as key policy decisions have been reached and implemented at both the national and subnational levels. Resolutions from the meetings have served as very critical inputs to the National Economic Council meetings and resolutions. The representation and participation of stakeholders at the meetings have been commendable. And as well, the resolutions reached at meetings have been far very, very fruitful. As the meeting unfolded, stakeholders were expected to deliberate on interventions that can mitigate the economic hurdles Nigeria faces, with a call for participants to maintain open minds throughout the discussions.